Okay, so a big point about holding pads is replicating targets, right? So when my partner is uh, doing some striking with me, we're, replica we're replicating one target. So he's hitting me in the head. He's hitting me in the head or in the body, right? So when I hold pads, I want to replicate that one target. So when I hold pads, I want them very close together, in front of my shoulders, in front of my shoulders. Not separated outside of my shoulders like this. So I wouldn't hold pads from my partner here, jab across, because then he's, he has three targets. This one, this one, and my head. No one's head is this wide, unless your name is Humberto. So I'll hold the pads in front of my shoulders. That way I don't need all that impact, right? I'm braced here so that my body takes the impact, my legs, not my shoulder joint. One, two. One, two. One, two. I have them very tight, very close together in front of my shoulders. One other aspect for holding pads for punches, I'm gonna feed the punch, right? That means that I don't wanna just keep the pad still while my puncher punches my punch. I don't wanna keep the pad still while my partner punches it and then pushes me backwards, pushes me backwards, especially on my shoulder, I'll feel it. So I wanna give him a little high five, just a little bit, right? I'm doing the same motion as he's doing with the punch. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit of a high five, a little bit of a high five, just a high five. What I don't want to do is start slapping his punch this way, boom, and extending. Because he's going to mis misjudge the distance. I put the pad here, and then when he hits it, it's in front. He might injure his arm, he might injure his elbow, he's not going to get the proper distance for punching. So I just do a little bit of a high five. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. When I'm holding pads, I'm also working. So everything from the bottom half matches, right? I do my jab, cross, right? Jab, cross, hook, hook, hook. So the straight punches, I do little high fives <clears throat> forward. I have my hands together, forward, forward. When it's time to throw my hook, I don't want to put the target here. Why would I throw a cross here and then a hook over there? I want them together. When I throw my hooks, it's in front of me. I show you the side of the pad because the punch is coming sideways. I don't want to show you this. I don't want to be here and I don't want to be here. See, two very different targets. I want to make one target, one target, cross hook, cross hook, cross hook. Little high five, cross hook, cross hook. When it comes to holding pads for kicks, it's similar to the hands. I don't want the pads very separate I want them very much together and definitely in front of my shoulders. So I'm gonna make an A-frame. That's when I put the tippity top of the pads together like the letter A, and then I put the elbows sucked into my tummy. So my upper body and my legs are absorbing the impact. I'm not sticking my arms out, separating my elbows, and when my partner kicks, I'll take all that damage over time on my shoulder, on my elbow. Over time, you're gonna feel it, so I wanna save my body as much as I can. Together, elbows sucked in, and then I just drop my weight as he kicks. I drop my weight. I'm not extending out. 